G'day guys, Oliver here from Pacific Toyota. Just giving you the virtual tour of a 2017 Toyota SR Hilux. Now, first off, I'd just like to give a bit of a run through our showroom here at 77 Mulgrave Road. This is one or two of our yards, the other locating it being located at 235 Mulgrave Road. As you can see here at 77 Mulgrave Road, we have a very large variety of stock, uh, ranged from your four-wheel drives to your coupes, uh, all the way up until your, um, your SUVs and your hatchbacks as well. So very large variety of stock here at the moment. Now I'd just like to get back to the virtual tour on the uh, on the SR Hilux. Now as you can see all along the uh, along the bottom here of the SR Hilux is all in really really good condition. All really clean, really neat and tidy. No stone chips or anything like that on the uh, on the bonnet, which is really good to see as well. As you can see all along the front, all really good condition. There is just um, just a little bit of dirt there, but that can just get cleaned up uh, just from a bit of a wash. As you can see, all your passenger side door, all in really, really good condition as well. And as you can see, all the uh, all your seats inside are all in really, really good condition as well. Just got all your, uh, your rubber floor mats just here. And as you can see, all your uh, vinyl floor, all in really good condition as well. Uh, there are just a couple little, couple little marks here and there, uh, but nothing really too major. Now, as you can see as well, just on the uh, inside of your uh, front passenger side door, there's just a uh, couple little marks here and there. Uh, but as you can see, you just got your speaker there, uh, just got a water bottle holder there, uh, your electric windows and just your um, door handle there as well. As you can see, you just got your uh, back passenger door, all in really, really good condition. No scratches or anything like that, which is really good to see. As you can see, all the interior of the vehicle all in really, really good condition. Oh, there's a couple of little marks here and there. There's just one little one there, but nothing really too major. As you can see, your rubber floor mats all in really good condition as well. All your, all your um, vinyl floors all in, um, all in excellent condition. As you can see, interior your door, all in really, really good nick. Uh, you just got your speaker there, water bottle holder there, just your electric windows and just your door handle as well. Uh, there are just a couple little, couple little marks here and there on the interior, but nothing really, nothing really too major. Now, as you can see, still plenty of tread left on your back uh, passenger side tire. Still, um, still plenty of kilometres left on those. Now, as you can see, all the uh, tub, all in really, really good condition. Get your lovely big, uh, lovely big canopy on the back as well. And just coming through to the back of the vehicle, as you can see, all in really, really good condition. All the, uh, all the back of the vehicle, all in really, really good nick. Uh, there is just a little, just a little scratch just there, but nothing really, um, nothing really too major. Just open up this back door. see lovely big canopy as well lovely big tub just give you a bit of a bit of a wider shot so you can see heaps of space in the back and you just got your little light in there as well as you can see doing, um, doing, doing pretty well All right, so just coming through to the driver's side of the vehicle, as you can see, all the uh, driver's side of the tub, all in really, really good condition. There's just a little mark just there, but nothing really too major. And as you can see, still plenty of tread left on your um, back driver's side uh, tire. Still in really good condition. Yeah, as you can see as well, you just got your back uh, driver's side Door, all in really, really good condition as well. Just got your back of the seat, obviously, all in really good condition once again. And as you can see, you just got your cup holders just there for your uh, for your back passengers. All in really good condition along the interior. Uh, you just got your ISO points as well, just for your um, uh, for your baby seats. And once again, all your uh, rubber floor mats are doing an excellent job. 
as you can see all the uh, interior of the um, of your back passenger door all in really good condition you just got your speaker there water bottle holder there electric window winder and just your door handle as well now as you can see lastly you just got your uh, driver side door it's just a little just a little uh, chip just there in the paint but nothing really nothing really too major and lastly you do just have your front driver side tire as you can see with um, still have plenty of tread left on it all right so we'll just jump inside the vehicle and we'll just have a, have a little bit of run through the interior as you can see all the uh, your dash is all in excellent condition as well no warning lights or anything like that on the dash which is really good to see obviously just a little bit of low fuel Just got your uh, volume control there, skipping through your stations or songs. Just got your mode there, so you can just change through to your um, FM radio, uh, Bluetooth audio, and just back to your um, auxiliary and, and AM settings. And you just got your um, answering and hanging up phone calls just there as well. Now, as you can see, you just got all your touchscreen displays, so you can change the station uh, through here, or your volume controls there as well. Just got all your air conditioning controls here, uh, your high two, high four, and low four. Uh, that's just all your four wheel drive settings. And just below you do have your uh, auxiliary uh, and your USB ports. Uh, you just got your traction control there, downhill assist control, and your rear diff lock there, and just your uh, 12 volt power outlet as well. As you can see, you just got your um, uh, shift lever there, you got your eco mode, power mode, So I'll just um, just open up the service book and we'll just run through a little bit of the service history. As you can see, you just got your uh, six month or 10,000 kilometer service down there on the 10th of the 12th, 2018 at 10,649 uh, 10, kilometers. Just got your uh, 12 month or 20,000 kilometer service down there on the 18th of the 3rd, 2019 at 22,770 kilometers. Just got the uh, 24 month or 40,000 kilometer service down there on the 27th of the 8th, 2019 at 40,126 kilometers. Got your 30 month or 50,000 kilometer service down there on the 19th of the 12th, 2019 at 52,159 kilometers. Uh, you got your 36 month or 60,000 kilometer service down there on the 17th of the 6th, 2020 at 67,398 kilometers. Got your 48 month or 80,000 kilometer service down there on the uh, 30th of the, the 11th, 2020, uh, 80,495 kilometers. Got your 54 month or 90,000 kilometer service down there on the 13th of the 4th, 2021 at uh, 94,527 kilometers. And lastly, you just got your 60 month there or um, 100,000 kilometer service uh, done on the 10th of the 9th, 2021 at 100,284 kilometers. So, as you can see, the next service is, is um, odometer there is just at um, 100,341 kilometers, and your uh, your next service isn't due until the fourth, 2022, or at 110,000 kilometers. So, still a fair while to your next service. So, I'll just jump out. We'll just run through a little bit of the engine bay. Oh, sorry, <laughs> just didn't uh, didn't pop the bonnet properly. inside the engine bay, all in really, really good condition, all really clean, really neat and tidy. There's no unusual ticks or noises or anything coming from the engine, which is really good to see. All right, that is your virtual tour of your 2017 Toyota Hilux SR. Thank you.